it's about time you guys showed up. Uh, we've been on the road for a day and a half now. Um, we actually got rerouted because Trans Canada was shut down. Funny thing, we ran into Chrome from Van City Van Life along the way, who also came to the roadblock and then you have to loop around three hours. Um, we were gonna go through Vancouver. I don't know, we were heading to Seattle and this way is a little bit shorter. So here we are entering, my like picking your nose, in Idaho, uh, we are now in the U.S. Hold on, though. <laughs> so we made it through the border crossing totally fine. Oh, but yeah. But no grapefruit for us. We tried yeah. bringing grapefruit They in. stole yeah. our grapefruits. Hi there. Hey, how you doing? Not too bad. How are you? Yeah, where's home for you folks? Uh, Edmonton. Where are you off to? To Mexico. Driving all the way up? Yeah, taking the west coast on our way. you know how long you be transiting through the U.S.? Uh, like four days. We're gonna stop in Seattle and see a friend for a day or two and then head on down. Any kind of food on board with you? Um, we've got uh, grapefruit, apples, and a watermelon. What's the first thing you said? Grapefruit? Grapefruit? Yeah. Yeah, you can't bring any citrus down. Oh. So what I have you do is pull in your container, you do the left. So just drive a little bit and hang a left and park. And maybe one of you come inside for now. Um, the, they'll probably meet you at the counter and then uh, talk to you. Okay, sounds good. And you keep our passports? Yeah, sure okay. okay, sounds good. Some kind of got to protect the California grapefruit no population. No citruses. No citruses. Yeah, citrus is a bad one. We had a watermelon. We had... Just watermelon and apples. Oh, but the apples were from the States anyway, yeah. so she said those were fine. But yeah, so here is Canada. Here is the U.S. And uh, cars are coming, so we're going to stop filming because it's going to get real noisy. be less inclined to have alarms go off. They're noisy now. There's like empty in the car, right? Alrighty then. The 
These do seem to be closer to the Facilities. bathrooms. Let's see. I don't think we really want to be in the light either. Right in front of the tree, maybe? Yeah, let's do that. Only guide and service animals. Yeah, it's just for animals. Oh, in the park. Yeah. I thought this parking spot was, I was like, holy, that's hyper specific. Someone there. Someone there. Facilities there. A very dirty window. Well, good morning. We're just past, um, I want to say Seattle, Spokane. We are up on the Great Plains. It's quite obvious by the drone shots this morning. It's actually pretty cool. A little bit of a smoky haze. The light is amazing. Uh, we're just about to hit the road. Marilyn is just getting some stuff organized. We realized we did not refill the Frank's Red so that is like an emergency of epic proportions when it comes to Maryland's eating habits. Although we haven't needed it yet, it's just that we realized it a little bit late. Yeah, yeah, we should have reloaded it before we left. But like the light is spectacular this morning. There's an incredible, incredible haze. The light is low. Yeah, it's, it's one of those mornings you wake up and uh, it just feels good to be alive. Anyways, we're gonna hit the road. Um, Hopefully some more epic drone shots and uh, then working with Sammy to help him get his camper on the road. That I'm excited for.
another day. Yeah, here we are back in Seattle. Yep, Seattle. So yeah, we are now at Sammy's shop. Today is the day we're going to be working on building his bed, right? Primarily, that's the big thing you're helping him with. I have bed head. My apologies. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let me flip the camera around. That van right there is the limo van. The limo previa. Yeah, so um, it's going to be fun uh, helping them put all that together. So uh, that concludes our uh, drive down. That's the first time I've ever come across the northern uh, part of the Pacific Northwest. Um, usually we've either gone down through Montana straight down into Idaho, Utah, or we've gone straight down from Vancouver uh, into the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, this time we entered, our, because of the road closure, we actually ended up going through uh, Idaho, right? Oh Instead. yeah, and did we say anything about Chrome? Uh, we... Yeah, you did. Okay, yeah, yeah. cuz yeah, we ran into Chrome cuz he got rerouted. It was yeah. actually kind of crazy and fun. I've always wanted to run into uh, to, to famous people. <laughs> Um, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's hard to miss his vans. I mean, I didn't because I'm terrible at recognizing vehicles, but Eric saw it right yeah. away. Well, and him and Cat Van Lady, um, I can't remember her YouTube channel, yeah. but they were traveling together, which they do now. Um, and and so, yeah, the two of them together, it's like uh, well, and his van city van life, logo yeah, plaster yeah, over it. yeah, he's it's got his stuff plastered <laughs> everywhere. Either way, yeah, so the the rerouting took us back. Uh, the way we were going to go originally was going to be Washington, right? We were going to cross that border. But we were going to cross that, us, yeah, yeah. At, um, at Vancouver but or then Richmond. It, but then it took us to Idaho, which was an interesting... And Podunk, little uh, town in the southern, south of BC, and that was actually pretty nice. Yeah. It was easy because there was zero lineup and we just yeah. rolled through. So I think right now we're just waiting for Sammy to arrive and I think in the meantime we're just going to make some coffee and and get our day started. Yep, yeah, maybe start uh, assembling some pieces yeah. but uh, we'll take you along on that trip. Yeah. 